Let's see who else wants to hang out. Hey everyone, Luke Dog here, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. I figured I'm gonna finish up these little invite requests since apparently only have three. Shepard, when you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet at the Silver Coast Casino, upper floor. Hopefully, no dead arms dealers this time. From Javik, Commander. I have received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what these primitives call the Silver Sun Strip, although it isn't made of silver or near a sun. Stupid primitives. Dear Commander Shepard, We here at Armax Arsenal are huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. In an effort to raise both awareness and morale here on the Citadel, we recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulation to look like Cerberus troops. We got a big surge of viewer interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving our viewers a taste of what a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come compete. You've got a complimentary pass waiting for you whenever you're interested. Thanks again. Your friends at Armax Arsenal. Okay, let's go meet with Garrus and Javik then. I'm sure we'll probably get more invites eventually too. I mean, we haven't done Liara yet. Or Joker. We're, we haven't run into Joker at all. What about Rex? Okay. Okay, where are you guys at? Jack is at three. Garrus is at eight. Okie doke. Should be right around here, up ahead. With the production of Francis Kids, all of her family coming to the field, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. Oh, that is neat. Will they come back at some point? Okay, Javik, what'd you want? Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly! Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras! And... Action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom which we all urgently face draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Uh, what's my line here? I just kind of walked on set. Is there a script? Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. 
Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Salarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory sense. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. Oh man, we have a Mark Mir trifecta here. We got Commander Shepard, a Hanar, and a Vorcha. So, I'm basically acting against myself. Awkward. Also, are we all doing this in one take? No editing? I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign's half-brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you'll die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the Genophage. I did that too. And that was the whole film? Also, was there even a script for this? Hollywood, I tell ya. <laughs> All right then, well, let's go get a drink. I need one after that. No funny business. Don't worry, I don't plan to. Good luck and good evening. Can we buy anything here? Oh, party supplies. What can I get for you?
Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And... Hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... Decent. Overall. Oh. Thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. I'm here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Let me help you out there, buddy. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. You're welcome, buddy. Okay. What should we do next? No access. Nothing. Okay, I'm going. What do we have here? Fennec, hit the comm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Birch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security. Fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> take a walk, guys. I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? No. No problem at all. I was just talking to a friend. What's suspicious about that? <laughs> and I almost walked right past that. Anything else up at the bar?
Okay, let's leave. Do 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 Is there anything up here? Got the arcade. Stay out of trouble. Oh, I see. It's a trap. Oh, what are you talking about? I've seen you use this move before. It's a brilliant play. Your opponents always fall for the distraction. Which means I should advance towards your evac shuttle. Here. Are you finished? Yes. Good. Then I'll take your dreadnought. Oh. Oh, I can't see anything though. Do some claw machine. Prizes. You could win. What will you win? Let me guess. Another audio. Congratulations. What a surprise! I got money. What will you win? Got a blue. Congratulations. You're Music. A winner. What will you win? Gotta be something. Win a prize. Congratulations. You're a winner. I got my money back. <laughs> I just never anticipated Tori to walk in on the such a pleasant man. I'm just surprised Solarians don't detonate tech armor. We prefer elegant. Okay. Let's see if we got any more messages. Scaling the set pieces and making nests out of the props. Oh my. Not to worry, productions always appear disastrous until just before the curtain rises. Oh, of course. It's going to be an amazing show. I won't be loud. I've got a good Okay. It didn't help that we had some brutal side objectives, but even then. We had to disable these Reaper indoctrination devices, and this crazy ex servers Vanguard guy insists on doing it. He's running all over the place getting killed, and I'm yelling at him, let me do it, I can cloak. <sighs> Infiltrate a good for devices, or engineer with drone or decoy, or me, because me don't die. Yes, thank you. Ah, multiplayer. What do we got? Anything new? Nah, that's good. Let's see if we got any messages.
Really? Nothing new? Huh. Ah, it's a little Vola stall. Okay then. Maybe I need to continue more with the story? Well, if that's the case, guess we'll head back to the Normandy. the Normandy. And I should probably take some time to talk to everybody first. I was just thinking about the Banshees. The Asari are so beautiful. And to see that done to them. The Reapers have done the same to most intelligent species they've encountered. Humans, Batarians, Turians, and even Krogan have been modified into Reaper foot soldiers. But not Quarians. No. The Reapers have not encountered your people in significant numbers. You don't think it's because of our weakened immune systems? No. Hmm. I just assumed we weren't useful. Quarians are intelligent, adaptable, and technically adept. You would make excellent Reaper soldiers. Thanks, E.D. I think... Tally, the Normandy has benefited greatly from your work, and your people are providing vital support in the war effort. We wouldn't be doing as well without the Geth. And we wouldn't be doing as well without you. Thank you, Tally. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. New upgrade? Data on experimental gene therapies was buried in the ruins of, on the Pragya Research Facility. While most gene therapy takes years to show results, Pragya scientists discovered a way to shorten the process. Two intact sample vials have been recovered from the facility. The only limiting factor is that no more than one such therapy can be applied per 10-month period without causing serious nerve damage to the recipient. Power cooldown or power damage? Damage, please. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree? Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Salarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's a nickname. She's had it since, uh... She's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Doing okay, buddy? Commander. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass-free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro-collisions with ambient dust. Nevertheless, some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. Normandy will need maintenance before the year is out. If we live that long, I will totally spring for it. Hello, Shepard. Goodbye, Edie. Guess we gotta continue the main story, then. This is the Minos Wasteland.
Shadow Sea. Ah, Horizon. A temperate world that has hit the sweet spot for carbon-based life, Horizon has a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere maintained by abundant plants and bacteria. Its soil is particularly compatible with Earth vegetation, and so a thriving human community has sprung up. Horizon's population is in flux. A collector attack in 2185 inflicted significant casualties, but refugees have been streaming to the planet since the Reaper invasion began. Since many land illegally, there is no way to accurately track population. Although many colonists resent the newcomers, others have embraced Horizon's new role. Adv advertisements for a sanctuary, its main refugee center, can be seen galaxy-wide. Haven't been here in a couple months, so let's see how it's doing. Oh, who should we take with? Um, let's bring Liara and let's do James. We haven't brought him in a while. Well, King too, but nah, we can do this. I'll be the tech. Liara's the biotic. James is the muscle. Be pretty good. Upgrade your incendiary. Down we go. Do 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 Let's see what's going on in Sanctuary. So, what the hell do we know about this place? Edie? The Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I I'll try to boost it. This is Oriana Lawson. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. They're using... Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander. No activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Major firefight here, Commander. Yeah, but who was fighting? That is a good question. Let's go find out. Everyone hear that? Yes, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Hmm. What the hell? Cerberus! Great, we got Reapers. A harvester! I saw it. Phantoms. Quick bastards! Poke your head out.
Come on. Watch for the sniper. I hit her. Saw you. This guy right behind me, isn't there? Got him, James. Looks like they were evacuating. And looks like the Reapers were gunning for him. About time they started killing each other. Yeah, it took him long enough. Anything around here? Yoink. Over here. Okay then. To Tell me your secrets. What happened here? I don't know. Come on. Southbound, came from that tower. Then that's where we're headed. Why is everyone leaving? Why? You bet. I didn't say anything. As you wish. I didn't say anything. Old security cam footage. People getting sorted out. That's a big crowd. Come on, let's keep looking. It is a lot of people. Thing on these terminals? With your help, is building a better tomorrow. The number of refugees has doubled in the last two weeks. I heard that people are just abandoning shuttles outside the main gate. They just don't have anywhere to go. We'll need to start setting up temporary shelters out there until they can be processed. For your security, no communication Taking advantage of their desperation. Definitely good question. What are you up to, Cerberus? Got a fragment of something here. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick. That's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. The clinics were closing their doors to refugees. I couldn't borrow credits from you. I don't know where I learned about Sanctuary. Around, I guess. Seemed perfect. Somewhat high, you know? Just till she got better. I can see the place out the window. It's huge. They already have people waiting for us. Hmm. That's some bodies. 
Casualties. Both sides. Cerberus and Reaper. Speaking of which... Cerberus. Good work, James. Everyone good? Observation deck. It's a dead end. We need an exit. Keep looking. Watch out for swarmers, too. Check this console. So it's busted. There's a pistol scope, though. Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? All I know is not good. A security panel. Shutting it down. What the hell? What's going on here? I don't know. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. What are you up to, elusive man? That looks like Reaper technology. I'm sure of it. I don't know how, but Cerberus has found a way to use it. The answer has to be here somewhere. And Miranda's caught in the middle. Let's pick up the pace. than a refugee camp. Definitely. All safe. What do we got here? Switch. Power switch. There. What, 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 what am I seeing here? Th those are the refugees. The Reapers, what, what are they doing? They're killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Okay, this is going way too far. 
You can say it's for the betterment of humanity all you want, but doesn't make sense. There must be more to this. The slaughter of so many. For what? The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. And shut this thing down. You've gone way too far, elusive man. Nothing can justify this. Unsuitable materials reassigned to recycling. Keep them out of the entrance as well. Madre, she's gonna get blindsided. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Shut this place down. Stop Kai Lang. Save Miranda. Got it. So you basically use desperate refugees trying to flee the Reapers and turn them into test set subjects. Must be okay. Left over from the attack. I'm gonna try going this way. Stay away from me. Corner, cut him in the corner. I am in a corner. Oh, hello. Oh crud, where'd you come from? James, grenade him please. Oh 
Up and at him, girl. Excuse me, James. Oh, you guys can jump. Okay. the key to indoctrinated husks. Interesting. Well, for indoctrination conversion into husks, anyway. Figure out how Reaper indoctrination... What was that? Damaged. Hang on. Reapers wanted the place shut down. Maybe we'll get some answers. It doesn't make sense. Thought Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? There it is. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? Bait and switch. Can't believe it. Note that she mentioned shipping indoctrinated refugees to the elusive man. We can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Let's go. Progress update. Reducted, rejected subjects have proven useful for preliminary genetic testing. Death rates are 100% of course, but the data being gathered is critical to improving subsequent testing on viable subjects. Note: Only approved personnel with Alpha 3 and above level security clearance are allowed access to the genetic waste testing area. Be aware that security breaches of any kind will result in immediate contract termination. People. Oh, hello. They are off. Hmm. Ooh, a locust. Shotgun blade. Anything else? We're very close. Understand. 
understanding the indoctrination process is one thing, however turning it to our advantage is proving to be quite another. This is assembly line science. The sheer brute force of numbers and repetition is doing the thinking for us. Effective, but discovery happens at a pace. Father is working for the elusive man. Internal memo streamlining procedures. In an effort to streamline our waste elimination process, a high-grade liquefaction compound has been added to our al alkaline hydrolysis disposal systems. Hydrolysis. Our goal is to ensure that our processing system can meet the expected processing ratios as more subjects arrive at this facility. As a result, personnel must wear level 4 hazmat suits at all times while in the disposal area. Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. Did I hear that right? This guy knows how to control Reaper troops? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They found out what Cerberus was up to. Bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Commander. There's more. Take a look. Damn it. I hope she's ready. Alright, I did that. Thing up here? Okay, let's go. Losing man's basically doing what Saren was doing. Trying to ally with the Reapers and. Whoop. Oh, hello. Shepard, look for an exit. I was gonna say. Damn. Look at all. We're close. Thinking that Keep they going. can control the Reapers when in fact they get controlled themselves. Oh, hello. Got a swarmer right here. Uh, lots of swarmers. Let's go down already. Nope. 
Got him. Okay, moving on. trying to control a galaxy annihilating species what did you think was going to happen starting command sequence releasing husks Kimov. what's happening oh my god this is our way out what Let's go. This is our way out. <clears throat> this will get us closer to the tower. Choo choo. I saw someone running down there. This way. Oh boy. Oh no. It's those big bastards. Stay out of their reach. Rude. Down, take him down. Oh, crud. Oh, cr move, move, move. I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm stuck on. Oh, I dropped down. That's why. Move. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, okay. Banshees, Banshees, where are you? They're all coming from that room up ahead. Let's get over there. Uh, Banshee or Brood? Either one, gotta go down. Here, can you warp, please? Dang it! Okay, no self and attack tracks. Dang it! Okay, whoa. Where are you? Okay. Are we good? A doorway. Let's move. Pod status. Pod 1, form material present. Pod 2, pod integrity compromised. Pod 3, subject deactivated. Um... 
Um, oh. I was going to say. Uh... This is not good. Crud. There we go. Shepard. Commander Shepard, excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Red, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job. But I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right, take her. But I want out alive. Deal? No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Ling. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? The research data's gone, but there's basic facility information. Shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a good start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but... <sighs> Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is... exactly what we need. <sighs> Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. 
Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Quartet. by my father. We need to pick up at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Definitely. Well, at least we've exposed it. How many people? I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reavers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful, Intel Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reavers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Okay, then. Let's check the war terminal. Anything to update? The Council created the Citadel Defense Force to support Shepard and the war against the Reapers. The CDF includes ships and soldiers from every Council race. Complements from a few species without official membership status have also quietly joined. After the attempted coup, no offer of assistance is being turned away by the Council and its advisors. An increase in refugees on the Citadel depleted resources that might have otherwise gone to defense systems or personnel. Civilians volunteering at emergency clinics helped to save lives by processing patients, assisting doctors, and taking some of the burden off the Citadel's overtaxed medical staff. Warning people on the Citadel to prepare for the war has improved civilian readiness. Doctors at Huerta Memorial were discouraged by their failure to prevent the suicide of an Asari commando in their care. A con artist exploiting refugees was thrown off the Citadel. Security improved on the docks as a result. Spectre authorization released medical supplies from customs to Huerta, improving the quality of patient care. A Spectre gave CSEC permission to tap into surveillance on private citizens. CSEC used the footage to make several arrests, improving security. CSEC was authorized to train a civilian militia, strengthening their defense forces. Housing was found for students from Grissom Academy too young to work on the Prothean device. These gifted teenagers have been helping, however, by dealing with any repetitive problems that can't be delegated to VIs. CSEC is focusing on smaller crimes and misdemeanors. This has spread their forces thin, decreasing effective efficiency when dealing with larger threats. After reassurances that keeping money in the bank is critical to the war effort, fullest merchants are making donations to relief efforts, to relief efforts and defense forces on the Citadel. Geth jamming frequencies upgraded the Citadel's automated defense systems. Schematics recovered by Commander Shepard are helping CSEC easily locate and shut down active turrets left by Cerberus on the Citadel. Schematics of advanced biotic amplifiers from Grissom Academy increase the endurance of the Asari under fire. The Book of Plenix declares that every Volus must aid those in need during times of war. W want. News of the book's recovery inspired many Volus citizens to donate generous amounts to Citadel charities and defense funds. The Elcor rejoiced when the Code of the Ancients was recovered. With help restored, they rallied to help mo move supplies on the Citadel for the war effort. The recovery of the Rings of Elun, named after a revered Asari physician, inspired Asari civilians to volunteer at Citadel refugee clinics and hospitals. What do we got for the Alliance? The Alliance's 6th Fleet was traveling through Council space when Earth was invaded. The men and women on board watched helplessly as footage of the devastation rolled in. Their last order from Admiral Hackett was to avoid engagement and lay in reserve. After waiting for so long, the 6th Fleet is eager to finally engage the enemy. The 5th Fleet became famous across the galaxy after spearheading Alliance forces at the Battle of the Citadel. It was guarding Arcturus Station when the Reapers attacked. 
After a bloody and desperate battle, Admiral Hackett gave the order to retreat, sacrificing the entirety of the Alliance's second fleet to give the third and fifth the chance to escape. The fifth fleet's engineers are busy repairing its damaged vessels, grimly anticipating a return to Earth and revenge against the Reapers. The original SSV Hong Kong was destroyed in the Battle of the Citadel when its captain threw her ship in front of a blast meant for a dreadnought. The ship's frame was later melted down and incorporated into the framework of a new frigate rebuilt as its, uh, as its successor. A pair of entrepreneurs was persuaded to switch from creating financial programs to advanced weapon targeting VIs and to sell them to the Alliance just above cost. Cerberus encryption codes are helping the Alliance predict where Cerberus is heading next. Krogan power grids are supplying energy to Purgatory, allowing the club to operate as usual, improving the morale of soldiers on shore leave. When the original SSV Normandy was destroyed, Cerberus rebuilt the ship from stolen Alliance plans. Dubbed the SR2, the Alliance took the new Normandy apart and refitted some of its systems with new technology of its own. As a result, the SR2 Normandy is the highest performing frigate in the entire Alliance Navy, and possibly the fastest ship in its class. The Normandy is commanded by Shepard, an Alliance officer and humanity's first specter. To bolster the Normandy's firepower, Commander Shepard installed a Thanix magnetic hydrodynamic cannon on the ship's undercarriage. Based on Reaper tech, the powerful weapon fires molten metal accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light. Before taking on the Collectors, Commander Shepard reinforced the Normandy's superstructure with Solaris armor. This protective layer of carbon nanotube sheeting can withstand temperatures that would instantly vaporize more conventional armor. The Normandy has been upgraded with cyclonic barrier technology, allowing the ship's mass effect field projectors to fire rapidly oscillating barriers that deflect rather than directly absorb kinetic shots. Although the Normandy is tough enough to withstand ship-to-ship -ship firepower, wear and tear takes its toll. The vacuum of space, solar radiation, the, re the retained heat of stealth mode, and the stress of burning an onboard fusion plant all put stress on the ship's many complex systems. Alliance technicians have repaired, retrofitted, and tested the Normandy while it was in dry dock, and they assure the crew that it will now perform better than ever. Yay! Miranda Lawson is an ex-Cerberus operative. At Cerberus, her intelligence, dedication, and leadership impressed the elusive man, who assigned her to the head of the Lazarus, Lazarus Cell team that brought Commander Shepard back to life. Lawson brings extensive knowledge of the elusive man's dealings to the Alliance, directing them towards several clandestine Cerberus operations. A skilled shot and a gift of biotic, Lawson is as comfortable in a pitch battle as she is in a boardroom. What do we got on Solarian? An Alliance rear admiral once unfairly dismissed the Solarian Third Fleet as nothing more than an overabundance of spy planes. While the Solarians rely heavily on gathering intelligence in any war, the Third Fleet's firepower is comparable to any other major naval force. Its vessels use the latest Guardian defense systems with improved tracking algorithms to handle a greater number of projectiles than older models. Even its scouting flotillas have been armed with hull-mounted Thanex cannons, developed in conjunction with the Turian military. Now that their egg clutches are out of danger, the Solarian colony Senequel is shipping all the materials and weapons it can muster to the Third Fleet. It looks like the crucible might be just about done. Now we just need to find the catalyst. And take down Cerberus. And finally stop the Reapers. But we're going to end it here for now. Next time, we might be entering the end game. What we got? Has been located and the Alliance is prepared to attack to recover the Prothean VI that holds the key to the catalyst. Once the attack is launched, the Alliance will be fully committed to the final fight against the Reapers. Assault the base when ready. So yeah, looks like it's the point of no return next. So... We'll see. Till then, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. If you really liked it, press that cute little like button. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Luke Dog, and I'll see you next time.